The 2023 Stephenville Yellow Jackets would like to thank the following sponsors. That's what it's all about, man. When you're in life, when your back's up against the wall and you're coming in to a hard situation, playing a really good football team at home, that's what life's all about. You come out swinging, leadership from the guys that aren't out there in between the lines, and everybody. That's the best energy we had all night. I mean, all season, the best energy. And when we're together like that, ain't nothing gonna stop us. Ain't nothing gonna stop us. Jackets on back-to-back -back plays have first downs. The give on the near side for Johnson. He will be upended at the line of scrimmage as DeVivo is the first one there for the Jackets. Coming across the middle, over the head, and it's picked off. Tyson Foreman with this one on the far steeple sideline, and he's got the sideline. 40 yards out of bounds at the 35-yard line of Stephenville. The Jackets needed a big turnover. We talked about them. Tate Maruska running as hard as I've seen him run this year, breaking tackles. What are some of the great qualities this Ryder defense has? Tackling and Very speed. And speed, and they're excellent with both. The defensive ends can fly, and they are running down our skills people right now. The give on the right side to Johnson, and he gets tripped up from behind by Philip Wigan. He says, hey, I'm a defensive end that can run down skills people too. It's a loss of one on the play at second down and 11. is Castle, the fade up the middle, it's picked off! Coming right back up the middle, that's Floyd! Gafford in some trouble, looking now, will throw on the far side, it's caught by Kreitz, and then fumbles the ball, and then it goes out of bounds. Give credit to Maruska for coming back on a tipped ball on the screen. Quarterback sneak again, and he will be pushed, and he is across, I believe. Show it to me. He's got the ball in the end zone. What is the call? There. Yes, finally. And it's a give to Johnson, and there's Camden McKinney. And that's the first big rooster back tackle we've had so far this year. Glad to have that young man back for his second game of the season. It's the Wildcat offense, and keeping the ball on the direct snap was Jackson, and he will get across for the touchdown. Uh, quick defense has been putting pressure on him, and it's a bad snap. Picking it up, Gafford looking, rolling to the right side. We'll just have to get rid of this one. Throws it on the edge. It is caught by Kreitz.
another give on the left side. Camden McKinney is right there with the rest of the Jackets. This is a loss of a yard. Play action, rolling to the near side, bootlegging out, throwing out, and it is intercepted on the near side. It's DeVivo down the sideline. It is a pick six, and the Jackets have taken the lead. 50 yards on the interception from DeVivo, and the defense has given Stephen Mill a 13-7 lead. And Castle's feeling pressure. That time, Camden McKinney reads the bootleg, and he puts the pressure on Joe Castles, and he throws it, and he never sees 2-7. That time, the 6'2", 235-pound tailback drug five jackets into the end zone with him. My pooch to the far side. It will be fair caught at the Elda throwing it back. It's a trick play for the Jackets, throwing it all the way across the field. Here's Gentry down the sideline and out of bounds here midfield. Give for Maruska, spins out of a tackle and he's in the open field. Across the 40 and then truck down at the 33 yard line. Longest run of the game for Maruska. Caught by the tight end Lujan. At the one yard line, Gafford up under center. And it's a give on the right side. Is it Maruska, is he in? He is, touchdown Stephenville. Our defense for the drive of the game. Handoff right up the middle. Oh. And a great tackle is made by Camden McKinney. He's got it. He'll try to take it himself right up the middle, and he is in for the touchdown. And the Raiders are within a point of tying this thing up. Snap low, but handle. No, there's some in trouble looking to throw it. It's up for grabs, and the Jackets will intercept it in the end zone. So the Jackets will hold the lead. 20 with four minutes to play. Yeah, he's also got the ball flat. Going to try to do that spinorama on the ball as he approaches here for the onside kick. Baroni approaches and the onside kick, the kangaroo hop, and the Jackets have it. Oh. oh, what a huge hit. And down is Gentry, who got helicopter chopped as he went high into the air to bring it down and came down on his neck. by Gafford, bounces to the outside, he's got running room, crosses the midfield, lead 21-20 here late the ball game, the give to Maruska, finds a little seam, and will get up to the 49-yard line, and the clock will start at 124, so this will be 24-16, this will get down to 44 seconds. Castle, straight drop, sets up, into the pocket, going to air it out deep, having a clearing receiver, and it's just past Johnson. So third down and 10, Gassel in the shotgun, three-step drop, in some trouble, throwing across the middle, and it's picked off. Tyson Foreman's got his second, fourth interception of the game, and the Jackets are going to get out of here with the win tonight. They are clearing out here at Memorial Stadium in Wichita Falls. Jackets win this one, 21 to 20. What a crazy game. All Stephenville plays are close games, and tonight that was the case.